1918, Brother Marshall Keeble began his full-time gospel preaching, and over the next 50 years, it said that he started well over 300 churches and baptized between 20 and 40,000 people. In one of those sermons that he preached, he had an illustration, a chart that had two ladders. One was a five-step ladder, and that ladder was the steps to get you into the church. And then he had a seven-step ladder, and that ladder, those steps were to get you into heaven. The five-step ladder started with, number one, hearing the word, Romans 10, 17. And, and he made it simple that all the five steps came from the book of Romans. So hearing the word, Romans 10, 17, so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Then number two and three um, steps, believe and confess, came from Romans 10, 10. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Then there's repent, Romans 2, 4. Or do you despise the riches of the goodness, forbearance, and long-suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leads you to repentance? And then there's the fifth step of baptism, found in Romans 6, verses 3 and 4. Or do, or do you not know that as many of us were baptized into Christ Jesus, were baptized into his death? Therefore, we were buried with him through baptism into death, that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. And then there was that second ladder, that illustration with the other seven steps. And that came from 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 5 through 8. I'll read verses 5 through 7. But also for this very reason, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, to virtue knowledge, to knowledge self-control, to self-control, perseverance, and to perseverance, godliness, to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, love. But he would go on to say that some of his friends were trying to climb ladder two before they climbed ladder one. And I, when, he, when I saw that, I'm thinking of Cornelius in Acts chapter 10, that there's some godly folks like Cornelius. It says that Cornelius was a devout man, one who feared God, with all his household, who gave alms generously to the people and prayed to God always. So we can't choose which ladder we climb. We need to climb ladder number one, those, those five steps. We've got to get those five steps in to be, um, become a member of Christ's church. And then we need to be working on ladder number two, those, um, adding those, um, those things to our faith. And question for you tonight, have you completed those five steps on ladder number one? Or are you over here on ladder number two before you get to ladder number one? And if we go back to Second Peter 1, verse 8, it says, For if these things are yours and abound, you will neither, you'll be neither barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. And you notice it says, if... And we can just turn it around because if these things are not added to your faith, then we can look and say that you will be barren and unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. So the question for you tonight is, have you completed those first five steps? And if not, tonight's the perfect time to do that. And once you complete those five steps, are you working on those next seven steps to get you to heaven? If not, tonight, We'll pray for you, we'll, we'll help you in whatever way that you need help. And if you would, come as we stand and sing this invitation song.